Downtown Businesses in Bristol by Taylor, Edgar, and Haley. Our essential question was how have the businesses in downtown Bristol changed since the 1960s? We interviewed Pat and Ruth, sisters that lived in Bristol when they were teenagers and moved back later on in life. They gave us a detailed description on the businesses in Bristol from when they were young. The first business on the south side of Main Street is Green Mountain Shoe and Apparel. In the 1960s, this is where the town post office was located. This is present day Sip and Suds. Believe it or not, this laundromat used to be a soda fountain and a freeze locker where people would store their hunting game. You now know this as the Bobcat Cafe. It was an extension of the soda fountain in the building that now holds Sip and Suds. This building, which many remember as Pooh Corner, is currently unoccupied and has changed owners many times in the last few years. But from 1949 to 1980, it was owned by the Bristol Insur Insurance Agency and Real Estate. The building that Honey Lights is in now used to be home to a Ben Franklin variety store. The charming store Greetings was once Snap's restaurant on the west side and a coin laundry on the east. This used to be the first National Bank of Bristol and was for a long time. It is now a lawyer's office and a gallery. This building, which is present day Walkie's Chinese restaurant, used to be the south side drugstore. The east side of this building is now Bristol Cliffs Music Center. It used to be W.R. Brooks, a clothing store. Where Kimball's is now, on the west side, used to be Way's General Store. Art on Main and the Physical Therapy Building are surprisingly housed in what was once the Robinson's Garage and Oil. What many of you might have known to be the antique store very recently became the Pathways Building. It used to be a sporting goods store. Present day Dan's Place used to be known as an eatery called Annie's Restaurant. The building that National Bank of Middlebury is in used to be owned by Sam McKinnon and was a gas station. The building now called Snap's Restaurant used to be a grocery store. The modern village corner store was once an electronics retailer. What is now known as Foreign's Auto Supply used to be an auto shop as well, but only on the east side. On the west side was Bristol Paint and Glass. Martin's wasn't around yet. It was a roller rink. The place that we all remember as movies was once the Grand Union Company that sold food products. What many remember as folk art and know as Emerald Rose was still folk art in the 1960s. The Brissa Bakery has always been in town, but it used to be only on the right side. On the left was a store called Way's Oddity Shop. The hair salon called Images is in the building that used to be Quinlan's Appliance Store. Covers and Cheers used to make up Abrams Department Store, which sold clothing and other various things. 